you guys, it's your girl Chi-Town Blue here with another installment of the A-List Alert coming on behalf of the Key S Expressions Publishing slash Multimedia Division. We're doing big things in the Midwest, you guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Go below this video, like, share, subscribe, comment on everything that you guys see. And then if you are a returning viewer, the both of you guys are a part of the 189.3 thousand views that are on the page both in the united states as well as overseas go out there and support everything that you see pertaining to the a-list alert this is another opportunity of shock value sponsored by key essence expressions publishing slash multimedia division again we are doing big things in the midwest and guess who is on the runway today Yes, Mr. Jermaine Dupree, you are front and center, sir. Here is what I have. He is on the chopping block today. Here is the situation that I have right now with uh, Mr. Jermaine Dupree, an awesome artist, an awesome producer. I won't take that away from him. He has had many accolades. And what I want to do right now before I get into everything is to give you a little history about Mr. Jermaine Dupree, some things that I didn't even know about when it came to his artistry and I'm really uh intrigued by what he did, what he has done. So this come from Wikipedia. It's uh you know I like to read so here we go. Now Jermaine Dupree was born September 23rd, 1972 and then at age e age 12, that's when he started no, he began his promising career at uh, age 10. And then what ended up happening to, happening to him, he got his first opportunity in 1982 at the age of 12. He ended up showcasing with the group Houdini. And then he made an appearance in their music video for the song uh, Freaks Come Out at Night. And then he began performing around the country, appearing with uh, Herbie Hancock and Cameo before he opened uh, for the New York Fresh Festival with Run DMC, Houdini, and Grandmaster Flash, which I didn't know. So in 1990, he ended up, his early career, he ended up forming the female group called uh, Silk Times Leather. And then after that, he formed the duo, teen duo, uh, Criss Cross, with uh, Chris Kelly and Chris Smith, God rest their souls, after meeting the boys at a local mall in 1990. And then they uh, their project, Totally Crossed Out, was released in 1992 and went uh, multi-platinum, do the singles, jump and warm it up, both written and produced by Dupree. He established his own record company, So So Deaf, in 1993, shortly after he discovered female group Escape at a festival in Atlanta and signed them to the label. Uh, the debut album produced entirely by Dupree, Hump and Common, Atcha, went platinum with the support of the singles, Understanding, uh, Love on My Mind, Tonight, and Just Kicking It. Uh, with later peaking at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. During the same year on Yo! MTV Raps is where he met the brat through Criss Cross and then signed her to his label, So So Deaf, and released her debut album, Functified, in 1994, which went platinum. So So Deaf recordings entered into a distribution partnership with Columbia Records in 1993. Uh, in 1995, he collaborated with Mariah Carey. 95, I was a, a junior in... Uh, no, that was my last year of high school, 95. And then there he collaborated with Mariah Carey for the first time on the number one hit single, Always Be My Baby. And then he contributed to Little Kim's 1996 project album, uh, Hardcore, on the track, Not Tonight. So that's a little bit about him. Uh, again, big ups to him for all his accolades. I get it. I get it. Okay. Here's the issue that I have with him. Now, uh, there's an artist out there, self-made, by the name of J.J. Cicero. Beautiful spirit. I mean, she's a powerhouse, lyrical beast. She deserves all the accolades with the A-list alert. She's been riding with the A-list alert since 2016. I consider her to be uh, top-notch. You know, if I had a show, uh, Maximum Overload Expo, I would want her to be a part of that ticket because she has what it takes to fill those seats. And, and as a promoter... As a show promoter, I would love to be able to have her do that. So, but she's a, a plus size uh, artist. Still beautiful. Beautiful on the outside, inside, everything. So, Jermaine Dupree has this cipher. And she's a part of the cipher at Hot 97. So, I know she went through a whole lot to get there. Excited. Uh, this man has recognized her work. 
and is calling on her to bring the pain lyrically. And she does. Doesn't disappoint. So I'm watching it. She went through the whole process, everything from beginning to end, nervous, all that. So I'm thinking, okay, she's done the cipher. He's going to sign her and nothing, nothing. And I'm like, hang on, wait a minute. So they do an interview with him and he mentions the fact that he did not know how to promote her as an artist. Either she came out with that or he came out with that was the reason why she basically didn't get a change. So I'm like, okay, I'm thinking back in my history of hip hop. You have Queen Latifah, you have uh, Mo Moni Love that was a little plus size a little bit. Um, and you also had um, uh, Yo-Yo that came out. She was a plus size rapper, Salt and Pepper. You know, they came out, you know, voluptuous too. So all of these different artists that I'm going in my head, like, wait a minute, what's going on? Why couldn't she get a chain? So... He he left that. He left it like that. So time went on and I'm looking. So now he's got this vegan ice cream. So now the vegan ice cream, every person that I see that's promoting the vegan ice cream is plus size. But you go back and you say, I don't know how to promote a plus size artist on my roster. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, you have Janet as your mate. Okay, from 2002 to 2009. OK, you guys are heavy, heavy involved in it. Janet branches out. OK, she does the May for now video. You see who pretty big movement in there. OK, then she goes on tour and you see what a plus size dancer right next to her. OK, so you mean to tell me you're with black royalty, the dynasty, Jackson dynasty, black royalty. And you can't make a two second phone call to your girlfriend and say, Janet, look, I need your assistance. I found this hot artist. I want to sign her, but it's hard for me to promote her because I don't know how. She could have gotten you in connection with Pretty Big Movement's Glam Squad. You could have got her deal with Ashley Stewart. Everybody's making money. But you tell me you don't know how to do that. But you want us, plus size community, to eat your ice cream and buy your ice cream. $5 a whop at our groceries freezer. I have a major problem with that. So I looked at his TikTok. I looked at his TikTok. This is what sparked it for me. I looked at his TikTok and he's on there dancing. I get the dance part. But he's got this Pepto-Bismol jacket on. And so I made a comment. I made a comment about the jacket. I said, Po baby, in, in so many words, I'm ad libbing. Po baby, missing Janet. Janet's not there anymore. You can tell by the jacket he got on. <laughs> Bruh, she gone. <laughs> she gone. And so he liked the comment that I made. So thank you so much, Jermaine Dupree, for coming on board. I've still got a beef with you about not signing JJ Cicero. I'm always going to have that. So. What you gonna do? Just keep watching, keep looking. Because here's the thing with me. Like P. Diddy did it. For example, prime example of producers that use plus size people. Now, Faith Evans wasn't a size two when she came out. You know, neither was Missy Elliott. I know Missy isn't signed with uh with um uh, uh Bad Boy or anything like that, but I'm just saying there are artists out there who are plus size that are making moves. I mean, he could have even pulled in Missy and had Missy do something. You know, to help out with that whole, you know, how to promote plus size women and things of that nature. It's a woman queendom movement. We're out here. But you got to do more than give us vegan ice cream. You really do. So I brought up P. Diddy because he made his fashion line, Sean John, for that body type in men. There, there was a rapper out there that was wearing his clothes because he knows that our money is green, whether we're male or female. But my thing is, show us who we are by having an artist that's just that good looking like us, you know. And then he also had Notorious Big, who was a heartthrob. You, that man had a whole bunch of women around him as, as big as he was, you know, as colossal as he was. He made it work. Puffy made it work. He knew that he could sell Biggie Smalls. As a, as a woman magnet, 
He knew that. As ugly as it was in the face, he still said, look, it don't matter about the face. It's the money <laughs> that has these women dropping their drawers. And so my thing is, why not follow that pattern of what works? Because our demographic has money too. And, and I want to be able to see that in music. Sign somebody that looks like me. Then I can take on your ice cream being serious. You know, I can take it on. But when you don't do that, you're missing the whole demographic, you know, of people who could solidify what you're trying to do. And then you can be taken seriously as an artist, you know, um, by giving us all of us, give it all to us. Because there are a lot of hot artists out there that are not a size two that can be a lyrical beast and who can make it work. So that's my beef with So So Deaf. That's my beef with Jermaine Dupri. But I appreciate him coming through on my page and saying that he liked the comment that I made. So be beautiful in your own skin, you guys. I have my fingers crossed also. Because I'm in the fight of my life right now. I, in 2018, I was diagnosed with cancer. And it was a cyst that was ingrown in the inline of my stomach that ruptured. So I ended up coughing up blood four times. And uh, I was at a level six. So I went to the hospital reluctantly. And they said, if you would not have come in, when you did, you would have died on the bathroom floor. And so, of course, they're not going to tell you what it really is because they want the surgery to be a success. But when I came out of the surgery, they informed me that it was cancer. So I had to have my uh, portion of my stomach removed. They lacerated my liver and I had to have two blood transfusions. So I had to go and get testing done. They put me in the uh, CAT scan. And so I had a real negative reaction to the tar that they put in you uh, so that they can see everything. And so uh, as a result of that, I am waiting to see now what the results are going to be. So fingers crossed, it'll be year number four, cancer free, big C, fighting it. Stand with me. All of you guys need your energy, knowing that everything is going to work out. Uh, have tons of love from family members that have come through to say, you know what, you don't have to worry. Everything's going to work out the way that it's supposed to. I had the jitters. I had the jitters and I was crying and bawling my eyes out. But I talked to my mini me, uh, number two, and she gave me some words of encouragement that I needed. So all the love and support to everybody. Thank you so much for all of you guys supporting the A-List Alert Network TV. I've been out here since on YouTube since 2017. And you guys have always showed up. So thank you guys in a nutshell. Enjoy the summer, you guys. I hope all is well. You guys go down below this video and let me know what is your favorite Jermaine Dupri track. It doesn't matter what album it is, what group it is. Just let me know down below this video and comment and let me know who do you like when it comes to the roster of So So Deaf. And then I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fact that he and Janet were a couple. Uh, but then he came out with the whole cheating brigade. And I know that that is because he's feeling some kind of way about her documentary that came out. But <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So he didn't want to be Mr. Jackson. So it is what it is. And remember, ladies, if you are a part of the Curve Nation, are we little girls? Hell no. So do we tap on doors? Hell no. If you are a part of the Curve Nation, ladies, remember to kick that bitch off the hinges. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.